Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So let's take a look at the current energies between you and your person, the judgment, the ten of pentacles clarified by the three of wands. Guys, major decision coming up for some of you when it comes to the opportunity to give another chance to your partner. The problem seems to be that your person may have gone too far when it comes to certain behaviors that may have compromised a vow of trust between the two of you. So we can talk about a marriage because of the Ten of Pentacles recurrent energy on the table, a marriage or an extremely high level of commitment that can be in jeopardy. And some of you are called to think about a justice moment for the connection. It can be a missed chance, guys. The judgment can be a let's try again, let's save the Ten of Pentacles, but it all comes down to the double Three of Wands on the table, expectations. And I have to say that the behavior of your person can be considered as one that is not deserving of the benefit of the doubt. We got the Responsibility Oracle card, the Seven of Swords is not in favor of that because if there is a betrayal involved in the scenario, your person may have tried to deny responsibility. Guilt can be a factor that your person can try to use in order to convince you guys to stay in the connection, kinda out of pity, you know, because if they manage to make you feel guilty, when it comes to the decision to end the connection, maybe you can stay. This is a mind game. Absolutely unacceptable. And then we got the Envy Oracle card that can be about a partner that is not happy with the fact that their person can be someone more talented, you know, uh, more successful, more appreciated for whatever reason. This is not good. A relationship built in this way cannot last. So guys, let me see the Three of Wands because the men in the Three of Wands or the people in this version are looking at the horizon, waiting for the sun to show up. You got the sun paired up with the moon. This is the opportunity for some of you to turn on the light when it comes to a connection extremely problematic, guys. King of Wands, Death Card, Lovers, Major Crossroads, Major Decision, Heart Over Head Decision. The King of Wands, guys, can be a passionate energy. We can think about the mentality of your person if they pursued affairs and third party situations because of the Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, Five of Cups, Five of Swords energies on the table. I would say though that you can become the King of Wands if we think about someone that is still sitting on the throne before making the decision to stand up and go for something else, something different. Death Card, revolutionary change, there is no going back is the choice of words that comes to my mind right now. And the lovers is almost an encouragement to trust your heart because your person can truly be a heartbreaker. And so what can make you think that if they say that everything will be better moving forward, this can be true. So the challenge for the connection, Three of Wands, Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Your person can say that you should forgive them because there is still the opportunity for the two of you to sail forward together. Considering this version of the Ten of Pentacles, we have two boats. It's like your person has missed the boat when it comes to the connection with you and now the two of you can part ways. So let me see the Seven of Swords, guys, because we know the drill about the energy, lies, betrayals, deceits, sneaky behaviors, 
a lot of BS. Let me see. Queen of Wands, match for the king. Well, sex has been a catalyst for the destructions and the betrayals that your person has fallen for multiple times. King of Swords, a manipulator in this case, guys. Your person can be extremely smart. They know how to twist words because the King of Swords is brilliant when it comes to the communication, but the Seven of Swords can twist everything, you know? And some of you may have to be mindful of that. If we want to flip the energy, if you resonate with the King of Swords, you can call out the BS of an unfaithful partner that can always choose instant pleasure and sexual gratification over long-term success with an official partner. So they prefer casual connections. This is sad, guys, unfortunately. Your perspective about the connection, the moon, the sun, clarified by the five swords, ego-driven energy, the five swords, flames, drama, a lot of nonsense related to the interaction between you and your person. You can be tired of their lies, factor considering the moon. Some of you can turn on the light. This is almost like a sliding doors, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's movie, you know, finding out an unpleasant situation all of a sudden. At the same time, you can also realize that the opportunity to amplify your inner happiness cannot be manifested if you think about another chance together with this person. Let me see the moon, guys. I find it more interesting than the Five of Swords. Knight of Swords. Things can escalate quickly. There can be a ton of discussions, fights, arguments, especially if you are married because you can be extremely upset due to the lies of your person. King of Pentacles. And as about commitment, it can be the case. You can be the one more grounded between the two of you. At the same time, you can be upset with the person that should have been uh, a reliable partner for you, you know? Two of Swords, this is a crossroads. Again, following the lovers. You can close yourself for protection more and more. To those of you that may have doubts about the honesty of your partner, because there is something that is not quite right in your eyes, you can go quiet. The Moon plays a role in the Two of Swords. Chances are you can find out that there is something that is brewing under the surface of the water, guys. And your person is up to something, basically. So your person's perspective, Three of Swords, Four of Pentacles, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. They can deny responsibilities, again, they do not want to let go of the connection. They can be aware of the fact that they brought forward maybe multiple times the Three of Swords. They can say to you that they are willing to do more for the connection. To them, I would say, well, thank you, it's too late. And there can even be distractions in the workplace on your person's side. Let me see the Four of Pentacles, guys. Stubborn energy. The energy of someone that doesn't want to admit a wrong or a mistake. Extremely mature behavior, if you ask me. Knight of Wands, boy, deal breaker. And the devil, what can I say? The energies speak for themselves. A cycle, a devilish cycle for your person, one about lust, one that they cannot resist, uh, temptations cannot be resisted as well, and they constantly fall for the same old mistakes. This person cannot be trusted, guys. 
they broke your heart already. If you give them another chance, uh, they can do it again, just like that. Like it doesn't matter, and instead it matters. It matters. Because this person can play with your heart like it's nothing. It's nothing to them. So what's the advice for you from the Tarot? Justice, Eight of Swords, Five of Cups. If the connection makes you feel stuck, Eight of Swords, like there is no way out, you have to remember that there is a way out. It may not be an easy transition, but there can still be the opportunity to break free from such a challenging situation. What we have to avoid is a mindset that can be willfully blind. They will change, they can change, they can do better, you know, if I give them another chance, they will do it for me. This is something that can be almost naive as a mindset, because these appointments can add up, one after the other one, five of cups. So a justice moment is necessary, right and fair decision, guys. Necessary because at the same time, a right and fair exchange was not honored. So let me see. Let me see the Eight of Swords because it can slow down the process and instead some of you may have to gather a lot of courage in order to wrap things up. Because this can set you free. Queen of Cups, you have to pay attention to the intentions of this person. They are not genuine, guys. They want to do what can please them, not what can be the best possible thing for the connection. And you may have already multiple experiences that can facilitate your realization. Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. Guys, the Wounded Warrior is someone brave enough to find a way to power through the challenges of the journey. Challenges like the Ten of Swords. I will not sugarcoat any of the difficult energies that we have on the table. This is a major test for some of you, but you can still pass it with flying colors if you remember your worth and if you stand in your own power and your own integrity. This person has been disrespecting you guys. If you allow them to do that, they will keep doing that. If instead you make the conscious and brave decision to stand up for yourself, you can break free. To you, I would say, surround yourself by people that you can trust, that can play the role of the support mechanism in order for you to power through this challenge so that you can leave this unfaithful person behind. They do not deserve your trust and for sure, if we follow these energies, they do not deserve another chance when it comes to a romantic connection. We are coming, guys. We are coming. Moment of truth, a revolutionary opportunity for you in order to leave all this nonsense behind. It can be a blessing in disguise. So I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.